Hey guys, welcome to Instinctual Tarot, and I am here for Leo. All right, Leo, um, I prayed off the camera, and I'm going to jump right into this. But as always, I'm going to ask that spirit send you guys love and light, and that these messages reach you in the best mind, body, and spirit that they can. And I'm going to jump right into this. Let's see what we can do. Huh? Okay, guys. Okay, you guys, somebody's moving, people are doing things, it's getting nice outside, you Leos are ready to do your roar. <laughs> the seventh card of the major arcana, the chariot is always about moving forward, um, you know, picking new things in your life, doing new actions, feeling yourself. That's what's up, Leo. Let's see what's that. Where you going with it? Yeah. Also, you guys are changing your mind, being very stern on the situations, how you want to move forward with things. Some of you got your money together and y'all ready to take trips, ready to do things. Leo's ready to be seen, tired of staying in the house, tired of things really not going your way. That's a beautiful thing, especially when it comes from an understanding of you're coming from your own mind or moving forward. You might be moving forward towards a cancer, but you very much understand where you're going with this. Yes. And moving forward, you might not know it all. Some things are not seen to you. I see a dilemma where somebody is moving forward towards trying to get some money but you guys are not very understanding on how to move forward in getting the money and trying to move forward in these things. You got to um, assess all your options when you're going for your tangible thing. Can I afford it? How long is it going to take me to do this? You know, some of you guys want a couple of tangible things. You see it and you really can't afford it. Moon card. And you're still getting it because you feel like I worked for it and it's mine, but it's going to like set you back. Some of you Leos, if you know what I'm saying. that kind of thing. Oh, disclaimer, all these messages might not resonate. So you're going to take what does leave the rest, right? And these energies are interchangeable. Could be somebody I'm talking about, could be you. Could be somebody you're to, I mean, <laughs> to you, of course. That's very close in your energy. Also, moving forward, um, some of you guys just not really caring what your friends and family are saying. You like, I got this, or whatever. But those are also going to be the people you need if you come into any problems, you know, moving forward. The moon card tell us to prepare. Okay, Leo. And you have the Knight of Swords rushing in. So basically, I see a person rushing in. Very prominent, very willing to do the things that you want to do. This could be, it's very masculine energy, but also could be, you know, could be a female. I love a female that's very dominant and masculine in energy. You know, she could be very girly on the outside and also have a, very demeaning, demanding energy. Well, that's what I see for you guys. But you guys are clearly understanding where you're going in life. And you're doing it very well. Understanding what you need, what you got. You got all your eyes dotted. T's crossed, as you say that. Could be a Virgo that's helping you do that. Then the Page of Wands is stepping out on new things in life. You Leos are seeing what you need, knowing that in the front. And there's also people you are meeting that don't really know too much neither, Leo. So you got an understanding where you're getting your information from and how, you know, people got to do the work. And that's trying to, you know, getting business. That's also trying to learn new information. Also, listen to yourself. Because you can acquire a lot of information on your own. And I'm not, I'm not talking about, like, looking on the web. I'm talking about doing the real knowledge. Looking on the web, too. 
that's not how this works. But definitely looking in the web and understanding where you're going. And within this, you guys are seeing new boundary that you Leos want to actually break. You, you guys are really about your money right now. And then you're meeting people and going places where you're able to grow that, leaving behind situations. I feel you there. Leo, everything right now for you is very me, myself, and I. And you got some people looking at you like, okay, you're doing a little too much. And they want to know, what are you doing? They want to understand, you know what I'm saying, where you're moving forward. Spiritually, let's see. So basically, you guys just, y'all ready to get out the house. <laughs> you ready to get back to your lives, doing the things you like to do as Leos, being dominant, fearless. Good Lord, like the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is, yeah, confinement. You guys are tired of being confined, being in the house. It's, you're done. And you're not understanding some things. That's the moon that clarified that. And on a spiritual level, you want to, you know, reassess your mind. Of course, go within. Have that little R&R &R that you guys have with yourself to understanding where you're going. Because you have beautiful things around you. You, you, you understand your money very well. You understand your logic very well. You guys are on a roll, and you're going places very quick. Things are coming in. Information is coming in. It's new information, too. You're going to need to understand um, these new ventures you guys love so much. You know, you guys are thrill seekers. So, yeah, and soon you're going to have it. You're going to have just what you need to understand, okay, that, you know, that's that thing. Okay, Leo, this was your flash read. Do your thing. Rock on. This has been Instinctual Tarot. I am Dre Eden. Make sure you like and share. And um, see you soon. Blessings.